to create this video in the morning just to be a little bit more real with everyone. Uh, I think, I'm tr you know, I've been away from video for quite some time. Uh, I'm actually stretching, by the way. Um, and I kind of just stopped. I stopped putting out videos for a while and I was thinking, you know, what's going to be my first video back? You know, should, it, you know, should I have some kind of intro video? Maybe um, kind of describe a little bit more about me and sort of like, I started going through this thought process and... Um, I think today, uh, I was thinking to myself, no, you know, I, I, as much as I wanted to create a video, I just w wasn't. I, you know, I got a, my allergies are, are acting up like crazy here. I'm a naturopathic doctor with seasonal allergies, and it sucks. Um, you know, uh, I got a sinus infection right now. You can hear by my voice. It's all congested. I've had a cough now, which I'm just getting over. It's been at least three weeks, three weeks with this cough. Any more, and I have to go get myself checked in for bronchitis. And I thought to myself, oh my God, nobody's going to want to watch that. You know, people expect that perfection. They, they want, you know, nobody's going to watch, want to see a naturopathic doctor sick um, or, or, you know, struggling or, or anything like that because it's supposed to be that, you know, the doc has figured it out and is going through things the way it should be going through. And um, that's it, you know, but... Actually, that's not the truth. Uh, you know, most doctors actually, if you look at them, most of them are out of shape. A lot of them smoke. Naturopathic doctors, you know, conventional Western medical doctors. And I, I think the, I thought, you know what? No, you know what? The fact that I'm feeling uh, a little run down and it's tired, you know, I'm tired. It's hard to get up in the morning. I'm a rusty nail. That's why I'm stretching, by the way, uh, because I'm, I'm actually, I'm sore just from getting up. And I, I actually have a hard time getting up in the morning. I hate getting up early in the morning. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I don't feel good. I feel like I want to vomit every single time I get up super early in the morning. And it's not super early. It's actually pretty reasonable right now. But, um, so, but, you know, I just thought, no, you know what? I'm, I'm going to film this and I'm just going to kind of walk you through a little bit about what I do and things that I aspire to because I think that ultimately is what's important to most people, which is to aspire to get better. You know, you have your peaks and valleys, you know, you fall off, but then you get back up and you learn. Uh, and you surround yourself with people who who are better than you at certain things, and then you get better. So that's basically what I wanted to share with you today. That today I am kind of struggling. I'm gonna try and go for a jog uh, and you know push myself. I'm not one of these people that you know look forward to going for, to a jog because it's so much fun and it's my oxygen and I need it. I just I know I'm gonna feel better after the fact, so I do it. Uh, plus, it's healthy. You know, I want to live as healthy of a lifestyle as I can while not being a purist because I do love a lot of the same things that everybody loves. I love having a slice of pizza even though probably the wheat is contributing to my seasonal allergies in the first place. You know, I love uh, a nice bowl of ice cream. I love putting a little dash of cream in my coffee. I love coffee. Anyway, that, that's pretty much all for now. But um, I just want to let you know that that's what you're going to get from now on. You're just going to get realism. Uh, and. Uh, I hope that's enough. If it's not, then uh, this isn't the channel for you, you know. Um, but that's basically it, you know. A lot of the times I look at photos of a lot of people within the industry and they just seem perfect. But then you meet them in real life and, it's, and, it's, and they're not perfect. And there's almost sort of this kind of disappointment in a lot of people's eyes. But actually, I think it's the opposite. You know, it's, it, we're all human. You see somebody who has sort of like a rock and chisel body one day and then they go and they eat a meal and they're bloated. And that doesn't look good. You see somebody, they look great on TV and then you meet them in real life and yeah, they have wrinkles and their skin doesn't look that great and their hair looks dry and brittle and um, that's just the reality of life. And so I think everyone's just trying to be better and get motivated and ultimately be inspired and try and inspire others daily as well. It, you know, I think that's important, but I hope that you guys are inspired and I hope that you guys are living an amazing life, as best of a life as you can. And I hope this brings you some form of, at the very least, entertainment. And um, if not, a chance for us to get to know each other better and, and uh, you know, embark on kind of this relationship and, and um, kind of cliche to say journey. But anyway, I'm having a lot of fun on video. I love to hear the sound of my own voice. So um, just have an amazing day out there. And I, I wasn't vacating I was just working harder So we could make all them stations That turned us down When we asked them to play us But they just played us Some screaming that hip hop dead Some screaming that I'm the savior But talking like that Ain't characteristic of my behavior Want it all now Still remain patient Rather be greater So 
Do your thing, talk your talk, I ain't mad at ya Please, just don't compare me to whack rappers I'm not gonna say, you know, it wasn't easy I, I gotta tell you, that was not easy You know, and um, it's not easy Especially if you're not used to running or you don't value it um, there's all sorts of shortcuts out, out there, you know, people say, you know, forget running, why are you running? Why don't you uh, go take a boot camp class or why don't you climb rope or go to the jungle gym or do some fun exercises that really help pass the time because running's a complete waste of time. <coughs> See, there's that cough I was talking about. Um, yeah, you could do that. Go to a boot camp class, you know, go to the jungle gym. Look, there's a park. There's a park uh, behind me, blocked by the trees. Go do some chin-ups, go do some dips on the bench. I know it might sound crazy, but actually, if you do just a little bit of that every single day, you'll get in you know, much better shape than you are in now. The fact of the matter is most people, you're not gonna go do a boot camp class. Because if you did, boot camp classes are so effective that you, know, you wouldn't even be watching this video, actually. You'd be at your boot camp class right now, you'd be having so much fun. For those of you who haven't taken that step or feel like you're too busy um, or just don't want to actually get out of the house to go to a boot camp class or anything like that, like me, by the way, I'm the kind of guy where, you know, I just, getting out of the house even to go to the gym is a chore. It's hard. So, um, best thing you could do is just put on a pair of shoes, running shoes, sneakers, as my American compadres say, and just go for a jog, a light jog. That's all it takes. You know, enough to break a sweat, right? And you should be running at a pace where you can have a conversation with somebody, just like this, without huffing and puffing. In the beginning, it might even just be walking or just slightly faster than walking, but that's essentially what you should be doing. You know, just, just not medical advice. This is just common sense. It's something we all know. We all know it. So I'm just reminding you about what you already know, which is that, you know, you should go for a light jog, not anything to cause you harm, but to push yourself just a little bit Pushing ourselves is really good, you know. I wake up in the morning and I'm sore, so logic would tell me that I gotta stop moving and I should go back to bed, but we all know that's the opposite, right? If you go back to bed, you're gonna feel worse. So ironically, if you actually push yourself just a little bit, you know, and um, go for that little jog, you feel a lot better. I feel a lot better right now, actually. I could breathe a little bit easier. That, that flush that you get in your face, you just you can't get any other way. I promise you, you can't get it. If you run for about 30 minutes, you cannot get that any other way, except running really, even weights. You know, if you're lifting weights, uh, you're trying to get a pump, it feels amazing. You still, you don't get that same face flush as you do from cardio, you just don't. Uh, you know, so anyway, I hope that's a little bit of motivation for you, but uh, it's, not, it's not easy. There are no shortcuts, it's hard work. You feel good after one time, well, you gotta do it again and again and again. It's consistency over time. That's the only way you'll get real results in life, uh, in health, in anything in life, business, health, relationships. You know this to be true, right? I'm not the only person saying this. So, um, speak soon. Tell me what I missed in my absence. Seems like I grew impatient. I know I've been in my eight, but look who y'all chose as replacement. Really, now that's amazing. And now I wasn't vacating. I was just working harder so we could make all them stations that turned us down. When we asked them to play us, but they just played us. Some screaming that hip hop dead. Some screaming that I'm the savior. But talking like that ain't characteristic of my behavior. Want it or now, still remain patient. Rather be greater. So do your thing, talk your talk. I ain't mad at you. Please, just don't compare me to whack rappers. I am not to be cat. Can you do it better? You probably can. Do you follow people who can do it better? Most definitely, so do I. I follow a ton of people in the bodybuilding fitness industry who do it way better. But the bottom line, the only really question that matters is, are you doing it? Are you, are you doing the work? It's hard. It's not easy. Does anyone really have the perfect form? I don't know, I'm not a competitive athlete. I gotta go, I gotta take my dogs out. You can hear they're whining. So I just came down here for a few minutes just to get a, a quick pump, but consistency, you know? It's all about consistency, so try and push yourself just a little bit today, just a little bit. Let me know how you feel.
Tell me what I missed in my absence Seems like I grew impatient I know I've been in my age But look who y'all chose as replacement Really now that's amazing And now I wasn't vacating I was just working harder So we could make all them stations That turned us down When we asked them to play us But they just played us Some screaming that hip hop dead Some screaming that I'm the savior But talking like that ain't characteristic of my behavior Want it or now Still remain patient Rather be greater So do your thing Talk your talk I ain't mad at ya Please, just don't compare me to whack rappers. <laughs>